Uh, good morning, everybody at this table and everybody at LHS. This is our first podcast of the year here at LHS. Um, I'm here with uh, Evan Light. Uh, I'm Aiden Haney. Co-host Ben Wingblood. And I'm Max Antonischek. Uh Today we will be breaking down uh, or just inputting our uh, opinions on some music lyrics we came to the table with today. Uh, Benjamin, if you'd like to start should us we, with one of them. Let's go down the line. Yeah, yeah, let's just go, go down, down the line. Yeah. All right, um, so... My uh, first uh, little bar, if you would, if you would say, is uh, by Kanye West, and it is, uh, and the weather so breezy, man, why can't life always be this easy? Ooh. Can I get like a rating on that? You got, I right, mean, right. you guys know it's a great one, dude. Honestly, like, I feel like nine out of ten. You like that? Yeah, I like that one. I like that quote a lot. Uh, why can't life always be this easy? That really hits me mm-hmm. no, hard in the heart. You know, like. He's going through a tough time saying, man, why can't life always be this easy? When the weather is breezy. When the weather is breezy. Why can't it always be this easy? When it gets hard, why can't it just always be this easy? It's great. Very cool. I love it. I it's love it. Cool. I found it this morning. But I love it. Uh, you know, I'm going to go next. Uh, I brought to the table um, a lyric from Kendrick Lamar's Loyalty featuring uh, Rihanna. Uh, Max... Uh, I'd like you to just give your little interpretation. I'm going to bounce back off you, you know. What do you think about this? Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it unconditional when the Rari don't start? Um, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to come at you with what I thought my interpretation mm-hmm. of that was. Mine was... I'm going to take the first part of that. Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it still love for me? I think he's portraying himself as the streets, you know? Is it still love for me when the lights get dark, when I'm going through my tough times, when the lights aren't shining as bright on me? Is it still love for the streets? When the Rari don't start. Yeah. And then is it unconditional when the Rari don't start? That's, that might be a shot at a lady friend. Shot at a lady friend. Maybe I think she might be a little yeah. bit of gold digger. Maybe. It is it yeah, love? Is it unconditional? The streets, you know? A little bit. When the Rari don't stop. I mean, I mean, we're talking about Kendrick here. Kendrick's got a lot of money, obviously. Yeah, that so, is true. You know, I mean. But when the Rari don't start, will she stick by him? Mm. Sounds like no. Honestly, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's a dead stir. All right, Evan? All right. I'm, all right. I'm ready. For you. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, this one's by Drake. Because everybody dies, but not everybody lives. What does that mean to you? Wow. I mean... You know, it's a very true statement, I feel like, from both points, you know. Everybody dies, mm-hmm. everybody lives, or, well, no, not everybody lives, right? right? That's what it was. So, I mean, I think to build off that, it's like, you know, you can live out a whole life, but, like, maybe you're really not living it the whole way through. Get that job yeah, you don't before like. Before you die. You know? Right. You know, I feel like it could be many things, you know, you don't pursue what, uh, what, uh, your purposes one would say yeah your goals something like that but uh yeah that's that one's deep i I think drake's trying to say that like his idea of living is living life to the fullest you know what i'm saying so maybe not everybody's living in his eyes Mm -hmm. maybe they're just riding the wave of life but that's Mm -hmm. not living to him all right um so (laughs) mine is forever by drake Everybody that's doubted me is asking for forgiveness. But if you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. That might be like bar of the day right there. That's bar of the day? Uh, I mean, are we finished? I still got a couple more, but like that. We could end the show on that. And that would be the greatest ending to any show we've ever had. Like, that's it. But like, I think we should keep going. That was Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. They hit me too going. hard. I'm speechless. Are we, are we doing more? Yeah, all yeah right, I all think right. we'll go for more. All right. I got uh, another one by the Arctic Monkeys, and it is uh, the knife twist at the thought that I should fall short of the mark. Oh, wow. What, what do you think about that? So the knife twist. Can you say it again for me? The I'm sorry. The knife twist at the thought that I should fall short of the mark. So he's saying it's he's scared. I think he's saying he's scared to fall short of the mark. He has this Honestly, this like, standard. Yeah, he wants to be that, like, his, one, 1%. He wants to be better. Like, yeah. Like, he's scared yeah. of falling. He's scared of falling yeah. short. And that knife, that knife hits him. That knife twists mm-hmm. deep. 
hurts. When he falls short of his standard, yeah. his mark. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's a great Do You know the Arctic Monkeys? I love the Arctic I Monkeys. I love the Arctic Monkeys. That was a, hey, that was, that was a great quote. Thank you for bringing that to the table today. So I'm going to go with one from the Smiths. Uh, this is a song called Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now. And uh, he's kind of reflecting on some things, why he's always sad, you know? It's just a little background info, but he's uh, kind of sad. He's miserable. He's explaining that in the song. Uh, as said in the title, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now. Uh, the, uh, the line he says is, uh, or sings, he says, Why do I give valuable time to people who don't care if I live or die? Why does he, why does he care? He's, he's like self-reflecting and upset with himself that he gives the time of day to people who don't care if he lives or dies. Like, I think he's trying to say like, Gotta live for himself. Yeah. yeah, he's gotta he's gotta find that self love, you know. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. he's living for himself, you know, not others. He's gotta live for that self love, and and he might be able to worry about some people's opinions, but not the people's opinions who don't care if he lives or dies, mm-hmm. you know. Like I think it it could be you know more than just like life or death too. It could be like you know just like what he does in his life. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing it for everybody else except for himself. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not really. Uh, Big Smiths person, but you know, it's a good line. Hey, I might get you into that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't know. That, that one was really good. All right, I'll go with my second one here by Baby Tron. Aiden, hey. this one's for you. Called him Mordecai because everything he doing regular. What does that mean to you? All right, so for those of you who don't know, Mordecai is a character in a very famous childhood show of a lot of ours that played on a Cartoon Network. Uh, the regular show. So call me Mordecai. Can you say it again, please? I'm sorry. Call him Mordecai because everything he do in regular. Call him Mordecai because everything he do in regular. You know, even though this might be seen as a childish rap quote by Baby Tron here. Uh, Baby Tron is from Michigan. For those of you who don't know, he's a Michigan rapper. Um, yeah, he's from Detroit. Uh, so though it may be seen as a childish, uh, stupid little quote or a bar that he put in just to fill time. For me personally, I see it as... Babytron, um, a guy near our age trying to bring back uh, a childhood show and like bring back that nostalgia in his songs, you know? Um, yeah. Because Mordecai, he was he was an iconic character. He's the... Everybody knows Yeah, him. he's Everybody like... Everybody knows guys. Mordecai. Like Even if you don't know the name Mordecai, it's if like you a, saw Mordecai, you would know Mordecai. The bird, you know. The bird. The Blue Jay in uh, the regular show. So, yeah, I think he's just trying to bring back uh, a sense of childhood in his songs. His songs are... Rap songs, you know, they're upbeat. They might seem threatening and hard at times, but he brought back a little soft spot when I heard I that think, lyric. I think that's what it is. It's like Baby Tron, you know. He might not have, like, these sentimental, you know, bars, maybe, yeah. but, like, when he when he, when he he's rapping, he's rapping about something, like, funny, something, oh, like, yeah. us kids can connect mm-hmm. to. Like, you know I mean, he's saying? not much older than us. Like, oh, yeah. Three, four years, yeah, so. no, he's, he's not, so... I like that one. Yeah, I like that one, Benjamin. Baby yeah, Charm was good. on point with that line. Yes, sir. All right, well, best for last, a little bit of J. Cole. You know, no role models. Um, don't That's save good. her. She don't want to be saved. Oh, Simple. Okay, yeah. yeah. Straight up. Straight up simple. Yep. Do you don't mind if I take a little deeper dive? <laughs> Go deep. Go really deep. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Um, so I think, I think when he's saying don't save her, it's not that he's a bad guy, not that he doesn't want to save her, but that he may have already tried, yeah, and, and she wasn't cooperating. She wasn't trying she wasn't to get willing. herself. She wasn't trying to better herself. She wasn't willing, like Evan said. She mm-hmm. wasn't willing to get better, so he's saying, all right, I'm giving up That's on all you. That's all you. Yeah. That's all you. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Exactly. Man, that was deep. Mm-hmm. That was a great session, boys. Uh, proud of this Dude, first no, podcast Cole, here. First podcast. Um, J. Cole is amazing. Mm-hmm. J. Cole is amazing. I think we all brought great <laughs> quotes, great bars to the Solid. table today. Yeah, honestly. Broke them down. Uh, I got, hey, wait, can I, can I do one more? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do another, oh, absolutely. You have more. Right. Sam, I got, at this uh, point, I got, right I got here. one more. I got absolutely. one more. So, this is uh, uh, Look At Me Now by Chris Brown, but it also features a uh, plethora of artists. Um, if you know the song, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this is what I got right here. Um, so this is uh, Busta Rhymes, and he says, Just know that you will never flop me, and I know that I can be a little cocky, 
you ain't never going to stop me. You know, I know he's saying uh, I may be a little cocky in that. I don't think it's cocky. You ain't never going to stop me. That's confidence. He's, yeah, he's yeah, proud yeah, of himself. Yeah. He knows and, he's going. And if you've heard this song, you know he's rapping at like a level above others. He's going bar after bar after bar. He says that right there in literally like a second. Spinning. Like one <laughs> like, second. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like to me, if, you, if you're that far above the game, if you're that ahead of the game, even though you're saying you're cocky, you're just confident. You know your you're skill. You're kind of allowed to be in that sense. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I, I don't know. I would just say it's mostly confident. Yeah. No, boys. I know we said best for last when Max said the J. Cole quote, but I'm just going to say right here, I don't think there was a best for last. I think yeah, all of us brought amazing all, all really good. today. Yep. Uh, great first podcast with you boys, and I uh, I loved it. I had a lot of fun today. I'd, mm-hmm. like, to, I'd like to do it again. Hey, yeah, thank you, too. Thank I'll you, guys. I would do that again. <laughs> <laughs> he would do that. <laughs> I would.